It looks like Red Dead Online will be getting Halloween content this year, very similar to last year, except this year it does look so much better with the content that we will be getting. And in this video, we are just going to be going straight through everything as well as also telling you how to prepare for this content. There's not much preparation involved, not as much as what we had to do for the Natchez update, the major updates that do come to Red Dead Online, but there is still a bit of preparation that you can do if you really want to. Before I do get into the video, if you want to see any more content from me, I am streaming over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And on top of that, there is a second channel, which does something very similar to what we do here, except we are going through everything cyberpunk. And that is only a couple months away now. Getting back into the video, Halloween is not a major update. I've seen quite a few people speculating that we will get properties within this update. And that probably won't happen. In fact, I am 100% sure that will not happen. Properties is something that will be part of a major update and Halloween just isn't that. But for Halloween, it does look like there will be some content for Red Dead Online. Originally, the community was speculating that we will be able to transform into animals. And so far, that has already been added, a lot sooner than what we were all expecting. This is part of the Vitalism studies, and you can do that by going over to Harriet, getting Harrietum Officinalis, and then you can transform into a buck. There has also been leaks of another free animals that you can get. And this means that you will need to get Harrietum Officinalis and then go to a location which you can then transform into these animals. And these animals include a boar, a rabbit, and a possum. And we're not too sure when these animals are gonna drop into the game. As said, originally, we thought the whole lot of this content was gonna be for Halloween, but it seems like they brought the buck to just a couple weeks ago. So that means the other animals could be released into this game anytime between now and Halloween. Maybe even just slightly after Halloween as part of the Halloween content. So what was something that we were all certain was going to be Halloween content, we're now not too sure about. But there is other stuff that we 100% know. The first thing that we know 100% is the Halloween pass. The current Outlaw pass that we have is an okay one. It's not my favorite one, but it costs 40 gold bars to go in, being the most expensive Outlaw pass, you get 80 ranks, but you do get that gold back. So everything that you get in there is just free items. So can't really complain, but the Halloween pass has been leaked and it does look a thousand times better, even though there's not as many ranks and it's not gonna be as expensive to get into it. So the current pass ends on the 19th of October and we're all expecting the second that that one ends on the Monday, the following day, the Tuesday, the Halloween pass will be released. And I can't show you any of the pictures on screen of some of the content, but I can leave a link in the description down below of everything that is included within this pass. And that is only just because Take-Two as well as Rockstar, they can get a bit weird and they can take down videos. And I do not want to do that. So just to make sure that this channel is safe, there is links to that in the description down below. I'll also leave a link in the description down below to the Red Dead Online Compendium, which does give you details of all the rewards that you can get through this Outlaw Pass and at which rank. This includes the free Wheeler, Rawson & Co Club, which you do not have to enter. It's free the second that this update comes out, the second that the Outlaw Pass is out, you can be entered into this club but if you want to spend money spend gold you can get into the outlaw pass the exact same as every outlaw pass that we've had so far this halloween pass does cost 15 gold bars and unlike the previous outlaw passes that we've had you do not get that gold back. But this is still very good. This is still very good value for money. If we look at the decors for the Moonshine Shack, most of them are around 10 to 15 gold bars. The Gothic decor is included within the Halloween Pass at rank 20. And it may just be because it's new, but I do feel like the Gothic decor is by far the best one so far. Making this Halloween Pass the exact same value as these decors just by themselves, but on top of that, you get another 19 rewards. Plus on top of that, you do have the free rewards. So this is definitely very, very worth it. And that is something to look forward to for Halloween. And we didn't have this in the previous Halloween. The next thing to look forward to is a showdown series. Now, I'm not a PvP player. If you've seen me play live, I'm absolutely god awful. Especially if I'm playing on my PlayStation 4 account. I don't know what it is. I'm just a thousand times worse my PlayStation 4 compared to Xbox. 
I don't know, I don't know. But we do have a showdown series coming and we're not too sure what it involves. But one thing that I do know is that I'll leave a link in the description down below to Red Dead Guides because they have found 50 different zombie models all labeled Army of Fear. Last year we had Fear of the Dark and that was my favorite showdown series ever. You had two teams one being the hunters and one being the survivors. The hunters had extreme abilities, extreme pace, and also extreme jumping. I remember being able to jump on top of Caliga Hall. That's how high you was able to jump. And you had to hunt down the survivors. Survivors, on the other hand, all they had to do was collect these masks. As they collected these masks, it made the hunters weaker and weaker, making them not as fast and not even being able to jump as high. And eventually, it was just a lot easier to kill them. Once you've killed them, that's the game over. The hunters have lost. If the hunters manage to survive for the time limit, that's the hunters winning. And as said, this was my favorite game mode ever. Now this year, it does look like we're going to be getting something very different. 50 different zombie models seems a bit high. If we were being able to transform into zombies, maybe we would have just only needed 10, maybe not even that. So to have 50, maybe this could lead to a PVE game mode. But this is just me speculating. What we know for sure is that this is going to be a showdown series and it will be coming at Halloween due to it having Halloween content. As said, I'll leave a link in the description down below to Red Dead Guides, which managed to find all of this. It was a great job on finding this. The next piece of content that we'll probably get for Halloween is Halloween masks. We got masks last year and we did also have some during the period where this game was completely dead a few months ago. So I imagine Rockstar may re-release them again. And I'm also hoping that there will be some new masks added. So that the players that did manage to buy them last year, myself, I can actually go and buy some new stuff. I'm also really hoping, I would, I would actually love it if Rockstar released some Halloween masks for your horse that you can actually buy rather than having them as unlocks when going through an outlaw pass. But that's just me. There's no evidence that that's going to happen. That's just saying that I would love to have, maybe not this year, maybe next year, maybe Christmas. I don't know. I would just like to be able to buy horse masks. That's it. But I'm really expecting masks to be added, whether them be re-released content from last year or just some new content. So that's the content that we're all expecting. And there's been quite a lot of leaks pushing to that as well as just stuff that we expect due to what's happened in the past. But how do you prepare for that? And as said, you don't have to do much preparation. Firstly, you need a bit of gold. It's looking like the Halloween pass will cost 15 gold bars, so you need to have 15 gold bars to enter. But just like every other outlaw pass that we've had, you don't need to buy into it straight away. You can rank up to the max rank, which will be max rank 20, and then later you can get the gold and then buy into that, and then eventually that will just progress the whole outlaw pass, even though you only progress the Wheeler, Rawson & Co club. That's just how it works. So you don't need that straight away. We don't know how long this Halloween pass is going to last, but as long as you have 15 gold bars, you're in a good position. You're probably also going to need a bit more gold if you're wanting to buy any of the masks that get added. Some of these masks will cost money, some of these masks will cost gold. So just to make sure you have a bit more gold, you can go and buy these masks if they are added. As said, we don't know if there is any masks so far. And then finally, you do have the vitalism studies, which we did already say, not sure whether or not it's gonna be released before Halloween or whether or not we can get one or two of these at Halloween. So depending on whether or not those get released over the next couple of weeks, you might also need to have a bit more gold just to buy into that for Halloween. Each one of these are looking like they're gonna cost between 10 to 15 gold bars each, and there's three of them. And it also depends whether or not you actually wanna buy into them. Because remember, we did get the buck, which was for free, and it was fun transforming into a buck, but there wasn't anything there. <laughs> you, you had the ability to transform into a buck, which was cool. It was fun to play with your friends, but there was no gold. There was nothing to do. So whether or not you want to buy into this with gold, it's entirely up to you. But if you do have 60, 70 gold in your account, you're perfectly fine. That is, if the vitalism studies do get added and they do go for the maximum amount of 15 gold bars each, and if you want to go and buy into the Halloween pass the second it is released, as well as another extra 10 gold bars if you want to go and buy any masks that are available, if masks are added and you actually want to buy into them. 
It's entirely up to you for most of this. The next thing you need is money. You don't need a crazy amount. You don't need money to buy into the Outlaw Pass. You don't need money to go into the Showdown series. All you need money for is if masks are added again. That's it. That's the only thing. And the majority of the masks will cost money. So it's entirely up to you with this one. If you have 5k, you're probably sitting on more than enough to buy every variation of the mask. And as said, just like the gold, it's entirely up to you whether or not you want to buy into this. And then finally, if you want to complete the Outlaw Pass quickly, you can get collector sets or you can complete animal categories. You're looking at round about 1,400 XP, going up to 2,000 XP for every rank within the Halloween Pass. And for most of you guys, for how much time you put into this game, you will complete it no matter what, like very, very easily. But if you do want to complete it on the first day, things that I do every single time, and I know there's an argument out there of why would you want to complete content so quickly? You'll complete it and get bored. People tell me that every single time, and I still play this game daily. I recommend going through the eggs, the antique alcohol bottles, the tarot cards, and the flowers if you're wanting to get collectibles. If you're wanting to go and get animal categories and complete them because they also give you XP, it's entirely up to you. You're probably not going to complete a legendary category, but you can complete all the different habitat categories very, very easily. And once you sell them, you'll get XP for it. You just don't want to sell them up until the point of where the Halloween pass comes out. So all you need to do is stock up on collectibles and also animal samples. And once you've done that and the Halloween pass does finally drop, you can then sell all of that, sell your categories, sell your collectibles, and then you're done. You've now ranked up to max rank, rank 20. But remember, this is only rank 20. That's all we have. It's probably going to be extremely easy to complete, nevertheless. It's not a major update. This is just something very small on top of the naturalist update. But anyway, that is the Halloween content that we know about so far and also how to prepare for it. And with this Halloween content, I think for me, it's so much better in the schemes of looking at the Outlaw Pass. The Halloween Pass has items that just prefer what I like, as well as comparing it to what we currently have with Outlaw Pass 3, there's just no mask for your horses, and that's the thing that I probably use the most. So the Halloween Pass is definitely for me. But let me know in the comment section down below, do you think that there will be anything else added to the Halloween update? If you are wanting any more content from me, I am streaming on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on top of that, there is a second channel, which is completely dedicated to Cyberpunk 2077. That channel is currently popping off. So a link to that can also be found in the description down below. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see you.